Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are doing really well today. The topic for today's session is parameterized data pages. In today's session, I'm going to build a use case in which we will be using parameterized data pages. So let's get started. If you can see my screen, the use case that we are going to do today is so in this screen, if you see, there is a topic, choose topic drop down that we have, and these are the options that we are providing. So as you remember, this is a training application that we were trying to build. So in this particular screen, um, the user will come and select a topic. Let's say, for example, pick a CSA. So once they select any topic, we need, we need to display the schedule that is available for the training. For example, uh, if you choose CSA, so there, if you choose Pega CSA as your training topic that you're interested in, then um, I should be, the system should be able to uh, give you the details of when this particular training will be conducted. So for that, I have created a, a data type, uh, which is called training schedule. Okay. In this data type, I have inserted some records. So if you take a closer look at it, so for example, for Pega CSA, there are two records that I have inserted into the data type. So first one is the weekend batch, which starts at 8 a.m. in the morning and the duration is three hours. And for Pega CSA, the second batch of training is a weekday batch, which is Monday to Friday, which will be starting at 6 p.m. in the evening. Again, the duration will be three hours. And similarly, I have also inserted records for another topic, which is Pega CSA. So the topics that I am storing is over here. So I have a property called topics, which is in our work class. And I am using the local list values in which I have stored four topics for now, which is Pega CSA, CSSA, Pega LSA and Pega CPDC. So these are the four training topics that I am going to use in today's session. Okay, now coming back to my case. So again, I would like to repeat the requirement. The ask here is, as soon as you choose any one of the topics, so the corresponding schedule for this topic needs to be displayed below this particular drop down. So how do we configure this? Okay, so first thing is, let's go to the section that is getting called over here. So how do we do that? So we will enable the live UI and we will use this particular up arrow to see the section that gets called. So it is select interested training. Okay, so in this section, if you see, you can ignore the layout one uh, that is not getting picked. I have just set the visibility to never. That was some other use case. Uh, but this particular drop down that you see, right? Choose topic. This is the one that you see over here. Okay, this is working as expected now. Below this, first thing is we need to add a table. So let us go and add a table, which is present in your structure category. Okay. And now uh, we need to add a source to this table that will fetch all the related trainings from this particular training schedules from this particular data type. So for this um, implementation, we are going to use a uh, parameterized data pages, wherein we will be passing the topic selected as a parameter and based on the topic selected, the corresponding rows will be fetched from this particular data type. So first we need to build a parameterized data page. So let us go to the sources tab and check the out of the box data pages that Pega creates for us. So let's, let's open this list training schedule. So this is a data page that gets created with the data type. So whenever you create a new data type in Pega, it will create three data pages and three report definition rules. So this list uh, data page is the one that gets auto created. So first let us see if we can reuse this. Okay. Because in Pega, uh, before you jump into creating new roles, it is always recommended to go back, take a look at your application and see if you already have a rule that is going to fulfill your purpose. So for that same reason, we are coming and checking this particular rule. So let us see what we are doing in this data page. First of all, let's check the parameters tab. Okay. So this is not taking any parameter. Okay. Let's see what the source is. So this is being sourced by a report definition, which is again a OTP report definition, data table editor report. So if you open this and go down and see the filters, so this is not taking any filter. Okay. So uh, we cannot use this as is, but, but let us do something. Let us try to save as this and create our own uh, parameterized data page with a new name. Okay, so I'm going to save this and let us call this training schedule per topic. Okay, so whatever topic you select, for that, the this data page will fetch the uh, training schedule. So the class will remain the same. Let us do create and open. Okay, so it list structure will be list. That is fine. Class is okay. Read only is okay. Our uh, scope is correct. Now let us also save as this report definition into our new report definition. Okay, so let us call this also as uh, 
same name training list per topic okay training schedule per topic let's create this okay so with respect to columns uh, let it pull all the columns these are the five columns that we have added and these are the otb columns now important thing is to add the filter so we want that there should be a parameter um, and based on the parameter only the uh, records that matches the parameter value only those needs to be pulled so the parameter that we are going to use is the topic parameter and we are going to check the topic column so how do you add the filter so we need to check dot topic equal to param dot topic so before that let us come to the parameters tab and define a parameter called selected topic okay and this will be of type text so you come back here and here you can okay so let us save this once so let me let me try to explain how this report definition how the query and backend will be generated okay so if you, I don't know where it's the class. Okay. So this, uh, so a query will be generated like select columns, all this from this class where, so filter clause is the where condition, where dot topic equal to param dot selected topic. So if you run this report definition rule and in the tracer, if you enable the DB query settings, so you should be able to see the SQL query that gets generated. Okay. So in this case, we are trying to pull all the records from this particular table for which topic equal to param dot selected topic and this param dot selected topic this is something that we need to pass dynamically when we are calling this particular uh, report definition from the data page okay so this is the report definition configuration it is ready now let us come and create the parameter same parameter in the data page also one thing uh, we have to call our report definition over here so training schedule per topic okay and then how do you pass a parameter so for that you need to click on the parameters tab and you can click pass current parameter page okay submit save okay so now let us call this data page into our section so let us go back to the section we have inserted a table so in the table, how do you add a data page as the source? So on the source drop down, you can select the data page. You can give the data page name. It will ask for parameters. So where is the parameter coming from? So I already showed you that the above property, which is dot topics, that is going to store our um, selected topic from the drop down. So that we will pass as a parameter to this particular data page. And that's pretty much, I think, um, we can disable the grid header and footer. So grid header is nothing but your add item and delete link that you see. And footer is this particular what. So in this case, we don't need uh, the header and footer. So we can just disable it. Submit. Okay, now just let us add all the columns that you want to show on the UI. So first thing is definitely the topic. Submit. And you can give a description also. Submit. Let me quickly add two more columns. So it's a weekday or weekend batch that we will pass. Again, the label for it. Let me just copy this column and we will change the uh, property reference. Oh, weekend is another column. And let's change the label also. And then the last one, which is a slot. So let us do that also. Then sure, will be plot. Okay, that's all with respect to the configuration. Now let us test this. So let me save it once. Let's go to our case and refresh it. Discard. Let's perform the assignment. Okay, so once initially we have not chosen any topic, so it will give the all the list, all the records that is in our data type. Now, if I choose Pega C CSA or CWSA, so this table below should filter accordingly. Let's see if that is happening or not. Okay, so it's happening correctly. So if you choose Pega CSA, so the schedule with respect to 
figure CSA will be displayed. If you choose CSA, so the schedule with respect to CSA will be displayed. In my data type, I don't have records with respect to other two. So what would happen if we select this? None, none of the schedule is coming because we don't have records corresponding to a topic called Pega LSA. Okay. So this is how parameterized data pages work. So if you pass the parameter and if you use that parameter in the filter criteria, so only the filtered results will be fetched by your data page. Okay. Now, if you want to add a, from the UI perspective, if you want to add a header to this particular table, so that is also possible. Let me quickly show you that also. Let's go back to a section on the table settings. If you go to the presentation tab, there's a checkbox display header and title. So if you select that header will come, let's call this as training schedule. Okay. And let's submit it, save, and let's come back and refresh our case. Okay. There you go. Okay, so this is pretty much about how you use parameterized data pages in Pega. I hope this session was helpful and uh, if you like my content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye.